Yeah. Hey guys, so as you can see by the title, today we're going to be going over three possible trade rumors for Lou Williams. As we know, Blake Griffin just got traded to the Pistons, and when that happened, I was in school, so I could not have made a video about it. And then when I saw other people already made a video about it, so I was like, no one needs to know this anymore. Everybody already knows about it. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Now the first trade possibility is Lou Willem to the Brooklyn Nets. So the Nets give up to Heal Okafor and Spencer Dinwiddie, a 2018 first round pick from the Raptors and a 2019 second round pick for, for Lou Williams. So if the Clippers weren't trying to rebuild right now, this would obviously be a, a pretty bad trade. But as we know, the Clippers are trying to rebuild. They already put this they already traded uh, Blake Griffin. And they just recently put DeAndre Jordan and Lou Williams on the trading block. So what does that mean? They want to rebuild. And rebuilding, you get two young players to heal Okafor, who we haven't seen a lot of yet because he hasn't gotten the minutes he deserves, I think. And Spencer Dinwiddie, who's been putting up 14 a game this year. Um, that's been pretty solid, and he's still really young. So the Clippers can help develop him. And you also get picks. And... To rebuild, you need picks, so they get a first rounder and they get a 2019 second round pick. That'll help with their rebuilding. They'll get two young players. Doesn't matter who they are. They're just getting two young players. That's gonna help with their rebuilding. Now let's look at the benefit for the Brooklyn Nets. Now, obviously they get a star like Lou Williams. They have D'Angelo Russell right now, and they also have Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Now, for Lou Williams, that'll definitely help young guys, and because he's a veteran, as we know, it'll definitely help the young guys develop. And he's Lou Williams. He's been dropping 30 games the past couple, the past um, like month or so. The Nets would really like someone like Lou Williams because, as we know, they don't have a go-to scorer. D'Angelo Russell's just coming back from an injury, so Lou Williams will definitely help them out with their young talent. They'll he'll be able to teach them, and he's just a good scorer. Now moving on to the second trade possibility. This one, as people have been predicting lately, to the Cleveland Cavaliers. So this trade is Channing Fry and that valuable Nets first round pick for Lou Williams. So as we all know, the Cavs have been struggling and struggling and struggling lately. LeBron is carrying that team on their back right now. And LeBron needs another scorer like Lou Williams. Kyrie just got traded. LeBron is left with Kevin Love and that's it. Literally, that's it. So he needs someone like Lou Williams to be on that team. Help LeBron, help him rest. He can rest a little bit more while Lou Williams does the dirty work while he's resting. Lou Williams is going to be a great fit for the Cavs because that's exactly what they need. They need the shooting guard because J.R. Smith is the worst starting shooting guard in the NBA. Dwayne Wade's coming off the bench. What is Lou Williams? A shooting guard and a point guard. He can start at shooting guard for them. And they also get an amazing scorer. And he's been playing really well lately. Now, the one thing I... Personally, do not 100% think that they should give up that next pick because we know that has a lot of value. And maybe if Lou Williams was younger, maybe they would give it up, but it's just a possibility. So I don't 100% agree with it, but it still might be a good trade. Now, this trade is pretty self explanatory for the Clippers. They do this trade to get that next first round pick, which is 100% going to be a lottery pick. I mean, it's not like the Nets are going to win like 30 games straight. It's going to be a lottery pick. It's most likely going to be a top five pick where you have an amazing draft class coming in next year. That will help with the young talent 100%. You also just get Channing Fry. He's on an expiring contract. That's just in to fill in the cap space so the trade will work. Um, if the Clippers want him back to help the rookies, they'll offer him like a million dollars next year. But he's on an expiring contract, so he's not going to fill up any cap space or he's just he doesn't have to be with the team anymore. So they just do this to get that pick. And the Clippers would very, really want to do this because they don't even want Lou Williams anymore. So the third and final trade rumor is Lou Williams to the Suns. So this trade looks like Troy Daniels, Marquise Chris, Tyler Eulis, a Suns first round pick from the Heat for Lou Williams. Now this is a really good trade for both teams in my opinion. So let's start with what the Suns get. The Suns get Lou Williams as we know. They have Devin Booker, Lou Williams to play the point guard position. They don't have a point guard right now. They, they don't have Eric Bledsoe. He's on the Bucks. They get Lou Williams. He can pair up with Devin Booker. They would be a really good dynamic duo, and I'm, I, I, I would like to see that happen. And they also get a, a really good scorer again, like Lou Williams. He 
to pair up with Devin Booker, like I said, it'll be pretty nice. Now, the benefit for the Clippers. Okay, so, like I said, a hundred times, the Clippers are just rebuilding. They get, who do they get? They get three really young players who have a lot of potential, in my opinion. Tyler Eulis, Marquise Chris, and Troy Daniels. Now, the Suns are giving up one of their 300 million picks next year in this next draft. So, they have, like, three first-round picks. They have, like, four second-round picks next year. They're only giving up one of their first-round picks. That's from Miami. So, this isn't even that big of a deal for the Suns. I mean, they already have a bunch of other picks. They're one of the few teams that have a lot of picks. So, I think they'd happily give that pick up for Lou Williams. Both teams would, I think, be really happy with their outcome. So, anyways, guys, it's been Real Rant. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments. I know I get a lot of dislikes. It's an opinionated video. I understand. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. We're almost at 500 subscribers. It's been crazy. I got We got 70 subs in like four days. Um, That's pretty insane for what I'm at right now. And I'm just excited to keep growing. And it's been a lot of words. I'll see you guys in the next one.